in with the new, the Green Wave are ready to roll back uptown tomorrow at 3 p.m. It has been decades since Tulane played football uptown in a stadium of its own. Now with kickoff 17 hours away, that is about to change. The first game in Yeoman Stadium is tomorrow afternoon. WDSU reporter Gina Swanson was at the stadium dedication earlier today and tells us how the stadium is not just a sports facility, but a statement about the university's commitment to athletics and a city rebuilding nine years after Katrina. Gina? That's right, Scott. It's a day some thought would never come. Tulane football back uptown in a brand new facility. And as you can imagine, all 30,000 seats will be full come game day. The boys are back uptown. Roll, wave, roll. The Green Wave is bringing a flood of fans back uptown to the new Yulman Stadium. It took three years to put these 30,000 seats on campus, and city leaders say it was well worth the wait because the new sports complex is more than a stadium. It is the central part where the community grows to know each other, to love each other, to be together, and to form the foundation of what makes great cities, great neighborhoods, and great places. This magnificent facility will be yet another sparkling jewel in the sports crown of New Orleans. The old stadium was torn down back in 1980, and after the winds of Hurricane Katrina in 2005, school leaders say for a while the way forward seemed unclear. There were many that questioned whether Tulane was committed to athletics, but you know, we were questioned at a time where a university and a community had to be rebuilt first. And not at one point did I ever think it was appropriate to step up and say athletics should come first because we shouldn't have. We had to build our city and we had to rebuild this campus first and that's what happened. Tulane officials say the new stadium is proof that the university not only survived but thrived. Building back New Orleans not the way she was but the way we always dreamed that she could be. For all of those that still have fond memories of the old Tulane Stadium, this is an opportunity to create new ones and make history in the process. To be honest, I never really understood what old Tulane Stadium meant to this community. Now I get it. At the dedication, Richard Yulman issued a challenge of his own to raise another $20 million to keep the stadium completely privately funded without a cost to the university. Yulman and some other donors are already putting up $10 million. They're challenging others who love Tulane to match that and come up with the other 10. Scott. All right, Gina, thanks. And tonight's quick question is about that new stadium. What does Tulane having that on campus stadium mean to you? Dory says it means the return of a beloved New Orleans tradition. Now, how about Mackenzie's and Maison Blanche? Tommy says history, new memories, and traditions return to Tulane, a better collegiate venue for the team, students, and fans. And Rod says it means having your car towed for not noticing obscure signage and paying a ransom to get it back. Watch where you park tomorrow. There are plenty of restrictions in place. You can join the conversation right now on the WDSU Facebook page. Now let's turn to your exact cast.